what is up print squad I am back with another tutorial video and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do color separation in Photoshop so um, basically what I did was I went here on Google and I typed in Tigers football and I found the logo that I wanted to use to show you guys how to do color separation and before I get started I just want to um, I guess say something to the people I have a lot of people on here that come on here and they'll talk about things such as uh, that's copyrighted images uh, you know you'll see what happens if you use copyrighted images uh, all those people this may not be the channel for you because this channel is all about teaching and when you start a business or you have a business you have to be able to use your brain and do what's right for your business so this image that I'm using today I'm using it as a teaching tool so um, if you want to tune in and you're interested in learning then stay tuned but if if you're interested in uh, criticizing or having a discussion about something that doesn't even matter then you know this may not be the channel for you okay so right here I just opened up Photoshop and because of the Photoshop I have as you guys know I have to go here and hit open so I have the logo that I want to use right here and it has trademark right here which means it's actually a trademark thing but um, what I'm doing is teaching you how to separate the colors on it okay so in order to separate the colors you have to use the magic wand tool so over here I'm going over to the left side the magic wand tool is like the fourth one down it may say quick selection tool it or magic wand tool so you want to click on you want to right click on it and make it say magic wand tool okay so the first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to take out the color black so I'm gonna click using the left key on the mouse or the left button on the mouse and you see the dancing lines around there and the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna click on layer via copy okay so you may not see much of a difference with your design by doing that but if you go over here to the right side where the layers are located you see you have a layer one and you see you have a background so if you click on background the eye that's on background it will show you what we just did so all we did was we removed everything that is black and put it on a layer by itself now when I color when I cover the eye of the layer one and and I'm gonna show you guys this first okay right here if you double click on the layer name if I was using this for screen printing or whatever I would change this to black so I clicked on that and it gives me the option it gives me the option to um, change the name if I can type so that is going to be the black okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the eye of this um, the layer that I just uh, named black and it's gone so now this is my background layer again and I have to make sure that I click on my background layer again to remove the next color so right here you see the background is highlighted and I just covered up the black just to kind of uh, let you guys see that it didn't do anything to the original layer all it did was copy the black and put it on a separate layer okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the white and I'm going to uh, click on it with the left button of the mouse and then I'm going to right click use the right button to click and I'm going to go down to layer via copy okay so now I'm going to cover this uh, original image once again and as you see everything that was white is on here and so this is kind of a problem but you can really fix this problem There's two ways you can fix this problem like right here this outline that is white I should have erased that in the beginning but because I didn't I could because it's not touching any of the white lines I can actually delete it now but I'm gonna delete this layer and redo it just to show you guys the correct way to do it so I just hit the delete button to delete that layer now I'm gonna uh, uncover the eye for this original image and I'm gonna come over to the left side and I'm gonna go down to the eraser tool and I'm gonna use the magic eraser tool 
and I'm going to click on the white outside the outline that I do not need so I click on that and because it's kind of blocking you're going to have to click on each side of it okay so now I have that and I'm going to go back up to the magic wand tool over here on the left pane so now I'm going to click on the white okay I've clicked on the white now I'm going to uh, use the right button of the mouse and click once again and go down to layer via copy and I'm going to cover the original layer and you can see right there it's the white layer so I'm going to rename it into white and now I'm going to uncover the black layer so now you can see that we have both the black and the white here and we're only missing the orange okay so now I'm going to go I'm going to cover both of these up and I'm going to open the original layer back up and make sure that I have that layer selected and I'm going to go on here and I'm going to click on the orange okay now that the orange is highlighted I'm going to right click and go down to layer via copy and now I'm going to cover the original layer and I'm as you see we have the orange right there I'm going to rename the orange and now that I have renamed the orange I'm going to uncover the eyes on the rest of them so now you see I have all of the colors and the original layer I have it the eye covered on it so everything is here and all you would have to do if you want to use this as your image to you know to screen print or whatever all you would have to do is you know print each one of them out individually so I would first print out the, the black one and then I will cover the eye on it then next I will print out the white one and cover the eye on it and the orange one and cover the eye on it and um, basically that is how you separate the colors and I will be doing another tutorial on how to get these separated colors ready to screen print so thank you guys for tuning in if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tune in each week for new videos and on Sundays for the live streams and check the description box below for links for any equipment that I use the free website with free credit card processing and also if you want the print squad shirts I still have them available and I will see you guys in the next video print squad out